Hello there, Cancer. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be your first half of the lunar cycle. I'm changing things up a bit, and if you want more details on that, check the description box. I'm not going to flood the video with that explanation. I want to get straight to the reading if I can. So um, if you're new here, my name is Melissa, and I do Zodiac Tarot readings. And from now on, they're going to be the new moon and the full moon. So this is going to be your first half of the lunar cycle. Um, the new moon is June 3rd. And so we're going to look at June 3rd to the 17th is when we'll have the full moon and then we'll do the full moon spread then. So let's get started. So the new moon is in Gemini. So with the new moon in Gemini, focus more is going to be on communication and how we relate to people and how we relate to ourselves, I guess, too, I would say. So um, I am using the Vivid Journey tarot deck, which you'll see the, the pictures are pretty good. So I have to flip these around, sorry. Showing off what's on the bottom. Um, so I'm not gonna do the normal spread where I do the bottom and to, you know, whatever I normally do with the bottom determining the energy of the reading um, because we're gonna base the reading off of the new moon and what you need to focus on for the new moon um what you're you know like looking at as far as that upcoming two weeks so um i have a neat little spread that i'm going to be using one more shuffle for my cancer, cancer. new moon in june okay so Also, I want to do my normal little spiel. This is a general reading. I'll be connecting to people all over the place, multiple people. So there will be multiple messages for different people. So if something doesn't resonate for you, then it wasn't meant for you. Uh, you might want to check out your um, moon sign and your rising sign and your Venus sign as well. All right, that's a good shuffle. All right, so what is the situation for Cancer right now? The Two of Pentacles. Okay, so the Two of Pentacles, you're, uh, you're kind of unsure about something, maybe weighing your options. I feel like maybe you're leaning more toward one than the other. She has it in her hand. This one's kind of still up in the air. So it's kind of maybe um, you're trying to work on some balance as far as your finances go. Maybe your job, um, trying to find, not finance, trying to juggle your um your career and your home life or something along those lines. So we have some kind of balance that needs to play, take place or, or something that you're kind of going back and forth on. Um, you're, you're, it's like you're kind of doing a dance, you know, do I want this more or do I want this more? Um, but yeah, so that's what the situation is um, for the first half of the lunar cycle. So let's see. Let's get some more cards. Oh, no, that was just a bad shuffle. That was not jumpers. <clears throat> All right, so what is going to be challenging you right now? What is going to be challenging Cancer? And the Ten of Wands. All right, so you're, um, look at the hair. See how similar the direction of the hair is? And these are wands and these are pentacles, so I really don't feel like it has anything to do with the element. Like, normally, if the hair is flowing, I would associate that with air or swords, but we have very similar hairstyle going on here. Um, that's the first thing I pick up on. So I feel like maybe, um, like, could be very literal. Like, maybe you're trying, you're thinking about maybe this, what you're juggling is whether or not to change something up in your hair. Um, but the Ten of Wands is, it's kind of about, you know, having a heavy load. <coughs> Sorry. Maybe feeling burdened. Um. Like you have too much going on. You have too many, too many possibilities, too many things that you're um, dealing with right now. So I feel like that's your challenge this upcoming couple of weeks is um, just, just feeling like you have too much. And I feel like maybe that has a lot to do with this, um, trying to balance it all out. Um, but yeah, I, I'm definitely really drawn to how similar the hair is in that, um, it might just be that that's the style of these cards, um, but that's not something that I've noticed yet. <laughs> All right, so it looks like that's what our challenge is. It's kind of maybe taking on too much or um, trying to do it all. Um, the 10 
Tens are kind of completion. It's kind of like, you know, ending of a cycle kind of. Um, but I feel like uh, intuitively I'm getting that maybe there's, there's just too much going on for you here and you feel burdened. All right, so the next card is going to be some guidance. Let's get some guidance for Cancer. Guidance for Cancer, June 3rd to the 17th. We have the Tower in Reverse. So the Tower in Reverse is telling me, put it back together. Um, you know, like something, something is not quite uh, put together, I guess. Uh, something is maybe... Um, Maybe you, you have suffered some loss or some tragedy of some sort, but um, this is telling me it, it's it's time to go ahead and, and start rebuilding. Start rebuilding. You you should be in a rebuilding phase. Your guidance is telling me um, that if, if you're not already rebuilding, you should you need to start doing that. Um, but it, it's really more of a... It, it's... it's you've already gone through the process of letting go you've gone through the process of dealing with whatever um whatever has happened in the past that was kind of destructive um and now it's time to move on and and, and start building something new um when i see the tower card i just kind of get the phrase that um you know if you burn the tower down so you can build a castle in its place and i feel like that's what's going on for you I feel like that's what's going on for you. Whatever has happened in the past is is kind of making you feel overwhelmed and burdened and like you have too much going on and you need to, you know, like this is saying, you know, like stop doing, stop worrying and start building. So maybe, uh, maybe that's the kind of the juggling act that's going on there too. So let's see what the, uh, what you should be focusing on. What should Cancer be focusing on? June 3rd to the 17th. All right. Judgment. Judgment. Okay. This is kind of, um, you can see their hands. Let me see. Let me move these up a little bit here. You can see that a little bit better. Judgment. All right. We need to be up away here. I did not. I zoomed in way too far for these. <laughs> um, we have judgment. So judgment. That's what you should really be focusing on right now is, is really the judgment card to me is more about kind of, you see how their, their hands are up in praise kind of, you know, and they, they have this angelic horn, um, and see what, what I'm kind of seeing in this card is they're, they're coming out of the clouds, which would, you know, represent heaven. It's an angel, they're in heaven. And then we have the hair looks like flames to me. It's very, very similar to these flames. You know what I mean? So, um, having good judgment, cause I, it, it's, it's very kind of specific and not really what the normal read on the card would be. Um, but I feel like having good judgment is, is, uh, definitely something you should be focusing on. Um, right now you, you should be really looking, um, looking at, how you perceive things um, in comparison to what they truly are. Um, just, just the flame in the hair that, that you would think that might represent hell and they're coming from the clouds and they have angel wings. So it's kind of like, you know, who is this angel really? You know, is this somebody... Is this somebody from uh, somebody from hell that has put on some wings and is you know trying to blow a horn and call you to them, um, making you think they're angelic, but really um, you're being deceived a little bit here. So making good judgment, I feel like is a is a good focus point for you for um, the new moon. Um, perhaps something uh, you should be. Um, Kind of recording or if you have a new moon ritual or you know where you write down things I, I feel like that would be a good one is to affirm I have good judgment or I make the best judgment calls or, or something along those lines that would be a very good um, like affirmation for the new moon here for you I'm gonna move this down just a little bit so we have room for our last card our last card is the outcome so I'm gonna do another shuffle I believe I shuffled before every card. But... 
if you've been here before and you've seen my other tarot videos um, where you can actually see me, leave me a comment and let me know if you prefer this view. I thought maybe you'd want to see the card, so I, I definitely want your feedback on that. Okay, the outcome. Page of Cups. Beautiful outcome. Beautiful outcome. Okay, so the, the Page of Cups is a kind of, pages are usually um, a message or they can represent a person, um, usually a child, somebody younger, somebody maybe immature. Um, but we have the Page of Cups, which the cups will represent um, love or uh, a relationship of some sort. Um, kind of blossoming maybe or um, he's got the little fish in there I'm just noticing that uh, it's it's definitely definitely I feel it feels like a good card to me it really does it feels like um, you're not being rushed into something uh, you're taking your time um, but also has a very playful quality to it um you know so I, I feel like your outcome looks good when we start rebuilding and and really focus on not just not being judgmental of others I feel like that's a very bland explanation of that card but but really just um making good judgment calls and um I mean it really does kind of represent what is it Saint Peter or whoever at the pearly gates as well um, kind of going, you know, making a kind of a spiritual leap, kind of, you know, like not really death, but um, a new um, new way of doing things. I'm very quiet for some reason at this reading. I, I'm feeling very calm. I, I feel like intuitively I need to tell you to calm down, to take a deep breath, to you know, be more present and, and feel everything. I mean, you do have, um, you do have all of the, you have, don't have all of the elements, you're missing error. So, um, I feel like maybe you're, you're, you're not really, you're not really thinking things. You're, you're, you're really, you know, this is earth, fire, and water. We have earth, fire, and water. So we have a lot of, um, very tangible, tangible things um that you're focusing on right now and and right now with judgment is you go to thought you go to kind of brain activity um mental stimulation really really focusing on getting um getting clear insight as to who you're dealing with or what the situation really is when you're entering a new situation or um, when you're thinking about rebuilding something. Um, but I, I feel like this can represent the air quality. So I, we've got a lot of, we're working on the balance. We're really working on the balance here. We are not, you know, like you're, you're, you're really feeling overwhelmed here, but once, once we start rebuilding and, and really focus in on, on our intuitive thoughts and, um, and just being a judge, good judge of character is what I'm hearing um, then, then we have, we have some new, some new softer energy, um, that, that kind of blooms and blossoms is what I keep hearing here. Um, so yes, I, I feel like you're going through some stuff and you're feeling a certain tap away, um, but you're overcoming whatever has happened in the past. You, you are overcoming that. And you know, like these guys that are like, I feel like, like this one specifically, that's a high five right there. Like you came through it. You're going to start rebuilding. Make sure, you know, being, being a good judge of character and making sure you understand situations before you get into them. Um, that will help you get to this point. This is our, our outcome right here. This is a peace offering or, um, you know, it could even represent your own children, uh, kind of coming around for you. So, um, yeah, that is our reading. Make sure you check out the description box so you know why I'm doing this differently. Um, there's a link to the Metaphysical Monday playlist in there as well. So you can check out the crystal videos and uh, there's a meditation, smudging stuff and all that good stuff. All the woo-woo fun stuff that I like to talk about. So 
check that out and I will see you in the next video.